Okay, so this is an Eaton low-budget receptacle. Just your basic, I don't know, I probably, probably paid a dollar for it. And if you look, it actually has a really nice connection for the blades, for the receptacle blades to go into. And both of the sides are all anchored into the ends. This obviously comes off. This is the ground bar here. But um, what I want to show you is this. So this side wire. You know, everybody says, oh, don't you, because it's bad, whatever. If you look on these things inside, you'll notice they actually got a really good bite that happens on that wire itself. And the wire actually goes up along the, uh, the bar. So there's really no reason why that would fail. However, I'll tell you from experience in my house, what happened was is that they did a rough in. And when they did a rough in, they, uh, they put the wire in, they stripped the wire, shoved them in the box. Then they came along, painted the room. Guess what kind of painted? The wires, including the strip wires. They took those strip wires, which had paint on them, and shoved them into here. So you wonder why, gosh, I wonder why these things fail. I really think, I really think, most of the time, most of the reason these things fail is either, number one, a bad receptacle or a bad install because they are UL listed. And I, I do not understand why we could sit there and say, oh, don't do that. They're all bad. I, I really honestly think they're bad because it wasn't installed right or there was a problem with the device itself. Anyway, that's my two cents worth. And I, I just wanted to give my hats off to Eaton because I thought, you know what, for a low budget receptacle, I thought they did a really nice job.